That's not chat. Firebolt. Hi, chat. Jägermeister. Jägermeister. Everclear. Everclear. <laughs> That's the only three that I know from that one dude. Fireball. I'm looking up his TikTok right now. He's like, two whole chickens. A pineapple. He's like yelling it too. Yeah. In an echoey room. Um. All right, so when last we left the party, uh, you guys were in Kresk. Um, you guys met the Burgomaster. He's talking to you guys about... Um, we did. Stuff. Huh? You mean the... What? You mean the duck did? No, we talked to the Burgomaster. The Burgomaster. Uh, the mayor guy. Yeah, yeah. Oh. The one who has a dead son. Oh, <laughs> He was telling you guys about... Oh, the one um, that I talk about. <laughs> uh, his dead son that had recently passed that echo... Oh. oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is gonna be this interesting. This is a for tonight. I don't, this is an omen. <laughs> it <Yeah>. might be. <laughs> um... I might have to text you guys later if my power goes out. Okay. Yeah. Is it like pre-typed up? I mean, I still, I would still have data on my my phone. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Echo dug up his dead son. Um. And so he was gonna visit the abbot, this mystical person that has been living in the abbey for like over a hundred years. Um. So you guys kind of tailed him up there um and Atadol sent a duck with him uh a very well dressed po proper duck um to gather information uh the abbot was like yeah I'll revive your son if you give me a wedding dress um so Burgomaster was like great I'll go get one uh and he was heading down back to town um you guys we're just there. <laughs> kind of waiting outside as an Atidal was like looking through his duck. Um, so yeah, you guys are just outside the abbey walls um, as the Burgomaster started heading back to town. What do you guys want to do? I'm not going to be able to think this session. My stomach is so full of whipped cream. <laughs> Who told you to do it during this session? You could have done it tomorrow night. <laughs> The one person that he up, opens the gap <laughs> to eat more. You looked at that whipped cream like an alcoholic looks like out looks at alcohol. He just looks yeah. at it with the most like depressed like I don't want this, but I need this. Looks at the whipped cream like a Rottweiler looks at like a toddler. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh god, same though. Hi, it's okay. You don't have to match me, okay? No, King yes, Young. Now that you now that you oh, said that, he has to finish it. it by 10 yeah, p.m. She's, she's like, calling you right now. Bitch. Yeah, she's just saying that you're too weak. Prove her wrong. <laughs> what if you just, like, keep going until, like, it starts coming out, like, your nose Holy... and your ears? <laughs> what are you talking like... about? <laughs> it just turns into whipped cream. Exactly. It's like sandwich, um... but whipped cream, man. <laughs> but... So what do you guys want to do? <clears throat> so we're trying to find a wedding dress, is what I'm hearing. Well, Not yet. you guys don't know that. Um, oh. Only an Atidal knows that the abbot was talking to the burgomaster about the wedding dress, and yeah, you guys were kind of just like at the gate. Yeah, you guys have just been like sitting there at the gates, just like, okay, I guess we're here now. You guys didn't do anything. <laughs> Ayo, anal, are you gonna tell us the information? Well, he's not even here next to us. Yeah, <laughs> he walked off. <laughs> it's been a while. I forgot everything. <laughs> You guys are oh, looking at the map of the abbey, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Virgo Master already went down the, the hill. Mm-hmm. I didn't glean any information from last time, did I? Like, your duck heard everything. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, I guess I'm gonna go uh, stealth. Do I have to stealth back over to the party? Since I'm technically like behind the wall, five feet away from this fucking dog, sick old guy. No, um, you'd probably just be able to like, kind of quietly walk over. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Jesus. Oh okay. yeah. I'll go ahead quietly walk over. Reginald, I think, at this point, is just gone. Be summoned. Mm hmm. Give me a second, I'm about to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> and you eat more! <laughs> yeah, it is like an alcoholic. Actually, oh, my, no. my tummy hurts. If I drink more, it'll go away. He's literally just like, <laughs> the girls at the club are just like, oh my god, I'm gonna <laughs> just like, give me another shot. <laughs> oh my god, Amy, give me more, I don't feel good. <laughs> <laughs> just gagging. Ooh. This is kind of got a kick. Oh, I work, no reaction. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think, god damn it. Um, fuck uh, Maybe don't. Fuck. Can I just tell him what happened? Yes. Okay. Thank fuck. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. The uh, Abbot's a fucking dickhead. He keeps people in tombs or whatever. Um, he what? Dude, there's screaming coming from those little tombs. Oh. Those little coffins. They're not coffins. They're like. Oh my um... god. <laughs> You're. Spreading misinformation. He keeps people in boxes. <laughs> They're screaming in boxes. It is not here. It is. Uh, you guys are at Kresk, I think. Right? Yeah, there we go. Why does it say sex on the goddamn map? What? It says it right there in the I middle. See of it. It. <laughs> I see it. Oh, <laughs> where? In the main room? Like there. <laughs> <laughs> what? At like <laughs> sex. sex. Wait, where? <laughs> this is sex room. Like I <clears throat> don't see it. Okay. Anyway, the um the abbot offered to revive the burgomaster's son in exchange for a wedding dress. So the burgomaster's gonna ask us for a wedding dress. Okay, is there only one way down this mountain? Yeah, pretty much. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Alright. You guys want to start heading down the mountain? Sure. What's preventing us from killing a dude? <clears throat> Nothing. That dude knows crazy necromancy. He's been living for like 400 years. But that's nothing against Fireball. <laughs> the way to burn it crushes all. I have two level. I have two level three spell slots. That's enough for two fireballs. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Come here. Well, my vote is to go down the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Mountain. Mountain. All right, so you guys head back down the mountain. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna move you guys to the the other map. Sorry, right, yeah. just give me a sec. I'll. <laughs> Is that empty? No, he just oh. opened it. Oh. Is it more? It kind of feels. It feels a lot lighter though. Light work, no reaction. Light work, no reaction. Okay, you guys see the Kretz map? Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright, great. Um... Yeah, so you guys head down the mountain where you guys. Are you guys going back to the Burgomaster's house? Yeah. So, are you guys like making sure you don't pass him on the way down the mountain, or? Well, 
What if we just bump it to him on the way down? I mean, I assume that it takes me a little bit to tell them about what happened, and then the whole time he's traveling, we're not, like, fucking sprinting past him. <laughs> <laughs> we're just, like, walking at a normal pace like he is. So I would he's assume we wouldn't go past him, but, I mean, if we see him, then we would, yeah, take a sec. Okay. I would totally sprint past him. He was oh my um, I think by the time you guys are done talking to him and you you don't see him as you're heading down the mountain, um, so you just head over to his house. He's in there. I th think it's like I don't know, probably late afternoon now. I don't remember what time you guys headed out. It was morning. It was morning. Okay, it's like afternoon ish now. Um. So yeah, he meets you guys in his house. <clears throat> uh, and he goes up to you in Ashdol. Fine. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where your duck went after uh, we were heading down the abbey. Um, he might have wandered off somewhere. It is. Uh, it's quite all right. Reginald can take care of himself. Perhaps he is at a bar swooning a fine maiden. <laughs> he tends to do that. Motherfucker. As you take a swig of whipped cream. <laughs> Virgo Master kind of just blinks in like confusion, like, oh, okay. Um, well, there was good news. Uh, and he's talking to the rest of you guys now. Um, good news. Good news. Uh, the abbot said that he would be able to raise my son if uh, I bring him a wedding dress, but I do not know where to find one. There is not a single tailor within Kretz? He wanted it within the month, and I don't think they'd be able to make it in time. Wow, they must suck at their job. Yeah, it sounds like you're in a real pickle here. There is suck. nobody who has been recently betrothed within the city confines? Not here. The fuck? Oh my gosh. Would you all be able to... Help me find one. We could just go door to door and ask people for a wedding dress that they have left unborrowed. You can. Um, you're, you'd be welcome to. Steve just gets up and starts walking to the next door. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but like, you guys got married once. Doesn't your wife have a wedding dress? We didn't have one at our wedding. What? What? Wait, so, I'll go ahead. Is it customary to wear a wedding dress during your wedding in Kretz? I don't know, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> he doesn't have one, okay? Bro, can I <laughs> what am I that he just says that to you? <laughs> what is this a wedding dress for? <laughs> okay guys, the abbot wants a white wedding dress. In Kretz, they typically gown themselves in black wedding dresses. I mean, as to match the arid soil of the Kretz lands. <laughs> we need a white wedding dress. Any truers? Is this canon? Sure. <laughs> where, where might we find a white wedding dress, Virgo Master? Virgo. I believe they might have one in the next town, uh, Velaki. <laughs> next. 
Okay, I guess we have to travel there then. So Wait, Steve's there... gone. Um... Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> Echo, can you go drag, drag Steve back here? <sighs> drag. Yes. So Steve, drag. you make it to like the next house over. I start banging, just... Okay, you just... You just bang on the door. And you see a small woman just like slowly opening the door and kind of like Hello, do you have a wedding dress I can borrow? Uh, no. Why not? We can't afford one. Why would we have do you are you getting married? Perhaps. Uh, I, I like walk over next to him and then I just like put my arm around him and like married. <laughs> <laughs> I am married, as you see. She kind of looks married. between you two. Uh, congratulations. Do you have a wedding dress? We do not. This is a futile uh, journey. I shall return later with a wedding dress. I am happy for you. Did you just roll to be happy for him? No, no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just fiddling with my dice. Fidgeting, so fiddling. I hope you guys had a divorce. <laughs> you should try not being poor to get a wedding dress so you can have a nice wedding. <clears throat> and then I just walk away. Oh, okay. I and she just slowly closes the door. Yeah, I like guide him back to the group. I come back, I'm just like, my my journey for the wedding dress was futile. Everyone is too poor here. <laughs> poor. The mm. Virgo master kind of, like, slowly nods. It is unfortunate, yes. Unfortunate. I uh, also have a pinned message in the chat for side quests, by the way, so I'm just slowly updating those as side quests mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. oh my what if we just drop the entire journey and solo focus our efforts on side quests <laughs> I mean the wedding dress is a side quest alright guys we're going to spend the next two hours getting this wedding dress yes <laughs> what if we just spent the what if we just made one we get see it doesn't have to be a good one but like we don't really have materials unless we ask them. Well, if it's things. shit, he might just revive half of the song. <laughs> <laughs> you guys also don't have, like, the knowledge or skill on how to make a bridal gown? How do you know? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I made your characters! <laughs> what if I rolled sleight of hand? Oh. What, I mean, what if we, what if we make no... a, like, a really bad outfit and just roll persuasion to make him think it's a good one? Oh. Um, oh. He knows what he wants. No. <laughs> we can gaslight the. I have plus seven persuasion. I have. I'm not gonna tell you what this guy has. So do we want to find out? We got deception. We got persuasion. We're gonna gaslight him into thinking. A Even simple. if we gaslight the Virgo master, he walks up with this fucking towel. <laughs> Is it the Abacos? What the fuck? We can gaslight them too. We can gaslight the other, bro. <laughs> oh, you were talking about gaslighting the, the Burgo master. Yeah, you could probably gaslight him, but like, <laughs> I don't know what the have to do talking, guys. Guys, I don't look know at how the, Look oh, at my shit. deception roll. I can, I can do it. I got plus seven. I can do it. Let's see, he'll put me in coach. <laughs> Wait, isn't this a <laughs> So are you guys uh, doing this, or are you guys gonna, like, what do you guys want to do? Um, oh my bro, god. Put me in, coach. Virgo master. I'm a, I'm a sorcerer. I have to have the charisma. Jesus. Oh my god. god. Look at all the Riz. We can do it. Bro, why can't I have Riz this hard in real life? Virgo master, why should we help you reverse the tides of death for only your son? Are you asking yes. that? Yeah, yeah. Oh. 
<laughs> Are you okay? It's <laughs> more. <laughs> he just looks at you really sadly. <laughs> um. Well, you don't have to help. My wife was planning on heading to Valaki if you guys weren't going to go. She already knows about the wedding dress? I told her uh, before you arrived at the house. Do you have the funds to purchase a Valaki wedding dress? Volakian. We were going to see if someone had one that they could give us without purchasing it. Then why don't you do that to your civilians here? Because there's no wedding dress here. <laughs> <laughs> How does he know it's over there? He said that they may have one there. Uh... So we can go through all the effort, and they just won't be there. I mean, also, like, if it's so easy for her to go by herself and just ask, because, like, it's more convincing if she's like, my son is dead, I want to revive him, you know? Whereas we're, we like, yeah, we're just here for a wedding dress to revive some boy. <laughs> what if we up. persuade the wife married. to just go by herself on the side quest for us? <laughs> okay. Passive <laughs> <laughs> okay. To be fair, I think what he's asking is probably asking us to like escort and help out his wife, considering that it's like a journey to a whole other city, and she'd have, yeah. have to travel by herself on these bandit-infested roads. She would mm -hmm. go with like a party, or not like a party, but like a, a group of like guards or whatever. <laughs> Where's the... Is it, like, more to the right? Hmm? Okay, so... I'll move you guys to the, the main map. <clears throat> it's right here. That is far. What the fuck? So your wife is setting out tomorrow to Valeski to retrieve a white dress, a white wedding dress, with a party and you uh, are asking us to do what? Either help escort her or go in her place. And she the is just... Are... Hmm? She is just asking around in Valeski? We would probably ask the Burgomaster first. Hmm. The woods are dangerous, and, and uh, I'm worried about her. Hey, what's what? a Virgo master? Just the it's mayor. like the mayor. Okay. Yeah, that's the term that they use. So weird. Culture <laughs> shaming them. All right. What do you guys think? I mean, if she already has a party. It's a group of, like, it's a couple of guards that you guys saw from, like, the walls. The walls. Or I not the walls, just, like, guess the front. I think we should the abbot, Alaki. I don't know. You think what? I think we should just guess at the abbot. <laughs> what is gaslighting? You're just crazy. You know you what that know. word is. We told you this before. <laughs> <laughs> the Burgomaster's asking, not me. That's what gaslighting means. I don't think I know what that means. Yes, you do. Roll. Yeah. <laughs> no, I really don't think I know what that means. Yes, you do. You're just stupid. You remember. <laughs> To be honest, I, I really don't know. Like, if we go, I guess we could go, but if we don't, that's fine too. 
We can like focus on another side quest. Hmm. Ergo Master, what is your incent? What is our incentive for helping you? Mm, incentive. Mm. We have mm. no money. Your son died. <laughs> um, give me a second to think. <laughs> At this point in life, just give up. <laughs> <laughs> Will we prov be provided fucking 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 like political political defense by Kretsk? Will we can we get like transportation? Perhaps we can get um free goods and materials while we're in Kretsk. Free healthcare. Um, free healthcare. <laughs> you would be offered shelter here in Kretsk. Um, we we'd be able to provide you food and shelter and perhaps some wine that you brought <laughs> that we brought yeah <laughs> i would also try to talk to the abbot and see if he could give you anything mm. audience with the abbot <laughs> okay are we set to escort your wife tomorrow or are we going in her stead? Would you be able to go in her stead? I could write a letter for you to give to the Burgomaster there. That should suffice. Thank you very much. Uh, give me a couple minutes to write the letter. And he kind of like goes off to like his bedroom. <clears throat> Does anybody have any shopping they need to do before we set out tomorrow? Are there any shops in town? Oh, you're asking. Um <laughs> I was like <laughs> I didn't know who you were asking. <laughs> It's just silence and scrolling noises. <laughs> um, you kind of like, you guys pass through the town, um, and there's not really like an inn or like a general goods shop or anything. You mostly just saw houses and this like fountain looking thing it's not really a fountain it's like a fountain with like the pool but without the fountain part <laughs> sure <laughs> so it's a, like a circle of water yeah okay. <laughs> it's like a fountain but without the fountain you know <laughs> Um, so the Burgomaster comes out after a couple minutes and hands Anatol the letter. It's like a little signed envelope, or like, it's like a little envelope with like a stamp on it, a seal or whatever. Mm -hmm. And he hands that to you, Anatol. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Thank you, Burgomaster. No, Burgomaster, do you happen to know if there's a library within the town? We, the abbot might have one in the abbey, but <gasps> there's not one here. We're mostly a farm and ranching, mm. animal husbandry town. So, do you know anything of Saint Markovia? The saint after which the abbey is named after. <laughs> no, that's all I really know that that's what it's called, but I do not know of the saint. Mm. Okay. Okay, just to recap, like, we have side quests, which is the magic jump from the winery, and then the wedding dress. Mm -hmm. 
but our main quest is the prince, right? Um, the main quest is something about Strahd that uh, Madam Ava told you, I think. With the, the cards and everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and Deal like, with Strahd, with, basically. Basically, find, find Strahd and like, mm -hmm. get the prince back, basically. Well, we technically know where Strahd is, I think, or like his general area, but we're more like the objective for the main quest right now is like look for clues. I see. So we're just walking around doing like side quests and a bunch of bullshit trying to look for clues <laughs> as to like where these like the things from the tarot cards are, or, like what Strahd is, how we can beat Strahd, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Is that about right? Yeah. Pretty much. I think I kind of zoned out because I just started reading something. But what I heard yeah. sounded right. <clears throat> okay. We will set out tomorrow at sunrise. Let your wife know. He nodded. Thank you. It's not safe to travel at night, so you can stay here. Oh, my God. So you guys stay the night. They give you guys some food, um, some water. Mm. Um, they give you a bucket of water. Um, Bermit, because mm, you so asked. Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> so good, tasty. You guys sleep well, and you wake up as the sun starts like kind of rising. <clears throat> Did I have a dream? <laughs> no, but Martin Luther King Jr. did. No, you didn't dream about anything. <laughs> oh. Okay. Alright. Well, we're gonna get up, go outside. Do they have horses set up, or do I gotta do this shit myself? Um, you guys still have your caravan and whatnot. Or oh, your wagon. Nice. Not a caravan, a wagon. Okay. Okay. Alright, I guess we're going over to... Balaki. Okay. I think, uh, in terms of... Positioning. I will handle the reins. I'll be riding the spare horse, I guess. I'll be in the wagon. I'll also be in the wagon. Okay. Alright. So you guys start off. Um, you travel along the road, um, I would say towards, like, the very late evening, Jesus. you make it to... God damn. <laughs> Wait, how long is that? Give me a second, actually. Okay, yeah. You could probably travel there in a day. Wait, wait, what is that? Hmm? Hold up. Hold up. I right, keep going. Um. Full force. Is this the scale? Yes. It said infinite at one point. Five miles? Okay. Over the course of a whole day, it's probably fine. <clears throat> um, Arya, your uh, raven is still just chilling with you. Um, it keeps eyeing Bermit, because Bermit keeps eyeing it. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> but you guys have a smooth trip. Uh, Dude, what? Okay, sorry, keep going. 
Um, and you guys start seeing, um... What time is it? It's like... The sun is starting to set, so maybe, Whoa. like... Whoa. It should be, like, afternoon, I feel like. For five miles? Five mile A horse? Carrying, like, three people? Four people Dude, in a carriage? it does not take a 12 hours to walk five miles. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> I like to think. Yeah. It's like afternoon. It's late afternoon. Horse does not walk. It's less than like a mile per hour. <laughs> like if this this horse would be dying if it's like moving this fully. If this horse can walk five miles per hour, we get there in an hour. It's like those like questions like if the train is going sixty miles an hour and the distance from the station to the city is hundred and twenty miles. How many hours does it take to get there? And Michelle's like twelve. You get there three in three weeks. <laughs> you get there when the train gets there. It's I didn't really think about the miles per hour thing. Yeah, I didn't really. I was just like, that's a far distance <laughs> along the map. I have no idea if it's to scale. It's Maybe probably if we to walk scale. there without the horses. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Human walking speed is three miles per hour. <laughs> <laughs> we still get pretty far. It probably take like a. <clears throat> Even if we just like sure, track the it's... permit, it would be like two hours long. <laughs> sure, you guys get there by the afternoon. Um So as you guys kind of approach the town, you see the dirt road kind of um leading up to a set of um, sturdy iron gates uh, with a pair of um, like you see a kind of like shadowy figure standing behind them um, you see planted in the ground and flanking the road outside of the gates are half a dozen like pikes with wolves heads impaled on them um, you see a 15 foot high wall uh, kind of running around or like encircling the town um, with logs just held together with uh, thick rope and mortar. Um, yeah. Is there a map for this? Yes. Yay. Hmm. You guys are over here. Uh, where's Vermin? There you go. I like how he's the marker, but he's like the smallest one out of us all. If you know where I am, you know where the rest of the party is. True, true. <laughs> okay, there you go. <clears throat> the blue square outside the map. Nothing. There is nothing there. Don't worry about it. Damn, we got patched. <laughs> God, no. <laughs> oh, They're just up the gate, then. Yeah. Um, and as you approach the gate, um, they're currently closed. You see two guards um, just inside the gate and they're holding like pikes. Um, and as you guys approach, they yell out, who goes there? <coughs> hey, Caesar. We come on duty from the Burgo Master of Threats. Would you like a swig? 
<laughs> He's doing like whippets. Did you just lick your mic? Oh, Holy. <laughs> His mic wanted a taste. <laughs> I accidentally hit the nozzle, and it kind of sprayed up in the air. Hey, give us some ASMR by rubbing the tissue on the mic. Oh yeah, some mic brush. Yeah, I'm ready for it. Okay, you turned it all the way up. <laughs> My ear. It's like a lightsaber. <laughs> 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 Mic that won't freak out when you just tap it. Okay, we good. All my Apple headphones, they okay. work pretty well. <laughs> no. Um. So the guards kind of like start whispering to each other. Um, I'm just gonna hold out the little like rolled up thing with the emblem on it. A letter. Hmm. Roll of persuasion check. Wait, why? What the fuck? Is this not the emblem of the Burgo Master? They're not looking at it. Bro, what? <laughs> That's... Just roll. Okay, yeah. Gee! God You're damn! Like... <laughs> nat 20 and a nat 1. I wanna be here. They're... They kind of just grumble like... Mm, fine. And they, That's why they call me a nut 20 do. <laughs> they unlock the gates and um, start like pulling open. You just hear like rusty creaking or whatever as the gates like open um, and let you guys in. Nice, we're gonna go in. Okay. What's this orange house? Um. So as you guys pass this uh, area, um, you see a kind of, if a building could slouch, that's what this building is doing. Um, it looks, it's like an old, old, old like stone church. Um, and you can see the walls are lined with cracked, stained glass windows. Um, depicting uh, like saints um, you see a fence of iron enclosing um, a garden of gravestones next to the church and you just see kind of like a thin mist just around the graves so there's a thin mist around the graves yeah it's kind of like covering the ground you know just what like... the what the fuck there's always the like you as you guys are like traveling through the forests and stuff, there's kind of always like a light fog and mist. Oh, just... okay. So this is like normal. Yeah, it's oh. not like Houston. It's very cold, <clears throat> or not cold. It's just it has very foggy weather. Oh, you mean the area in general is foggy? Like more towards like the forest, but like in the town, there's not that much. Um, oh, but. Shit. Yeah. That's a good ass point. <laughs> I thought you meant it was just like in this graveyard, like Terraria. Oh, kind of. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, that's just on. Okay, are there any people passing around, just like walking around? Yeah, you see people walking around. Okay, excuse me. Can you direct us to the house of the Burgo Master? Uh, sure. You see this man kind of standing there. Um, and I don't know the directions off the top of my head. Give me a second. Uh, if you continue down this road and uh, take a right at the fork, um, you'll come across the... Uh, uh, the Burgos ma Burgomaster's house on the right. It's pretty large. You wouldn't miss it. Thank you. Uh, 
Yeah, you're you're welcome. He's kind of just like looking at your party as he like continues walking. Okay. I think for now we will discuss with the burgomaster and we can visit this house later, Arya, as we leave. Perhaps we'll gather more information about it first. So we're going to head over to the Burgomasters. So you guys walk up to this very large, like, fancy looking house. Um, you see a, like, mansion uh, of plastered stone that has, like, also very, like, a lot of cracks in it um, where the plaster has kind of fallen away because uh, it seems like an old house. You see drapes covering every window, and there's a large arched opening above the mansion's double door. Double entrance doors. Um, so you kind of walk up and just like, like, knock on the door. Um, and you see a kind of younger woman opening uh, the door. Um, she has, like, kind of very drab, basic cleaning clothes on. Hello? Hello. We would like to request an audience with the Burgomaster. We have uh, a task from the Burgomaster of Kretsk, and that requires business with the uh, Burgomaster of Velaki. I see. Uh, please come in. Uh, I will fetch the Baron um, immediately. So she kind of ushers you guys in. <clears throat> um, and as you enter, you see framed portraits <clears throat> along the walls of this very large like entranceway. Uh, there's a wide staircase with railing uh, on the right side. Um, and you see a long carpeted hall uh, connecting the foyer, almost stretching through the length of the mansion. Uh, and you see like several doors on the side. Actually, I have a map for this. Nice. That is cool. If I can, ha. I think it's this one. It's dark. Yeah, give me a second. It's so dark. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, the Green Mile? Huh? Anyone watch the Green Mile? No. I haven't watched it either. Green Mile. That's the one about, like, the, the mentally <laughs> impaired black guy who gets, like, put on death row. More recent or older? Older, like 1990s. Yeah, I don't think I've seen it then. Gotcha. You guys can put your you uh, character tokens here. Okay, kind of scary, but okay. Oh, I think clips of it though. It like heals people. Heals people. I or don't something. know about that one. Um, give me a second. There it is. Hey, power tokens so where? Steven, Steven. Uh, the uh, right side. Where I am. What, what the, the fuck is this? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Over here. Gardern. Why am I so massive? <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, what have you been eating? Want to put down a uh, king on or just... Um, you can actually put it down so she can control it. 
Uh, and then as soon as you guys enter... Okay. Matt's camera frozen, or is he just being... Okay, never mind. I'm back. <laughs> you were just like smiling blankly into the camera, I'm like, I'm either being a haunted or he's frozen. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and as the, uh, as you guys enter, the maid kind of leads you into this room. Oh, shit. Um, you see a lot of, like, furnishings, draperies, um, yeah, like, um, oh, give me two seconds. And... <laughs> Um, there is nothing you find of value here. <laughs> what about me? It's lower. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I lied. Uh, you don't get, um, escorted in there. Oh. He lied. Wait, so that means... No. We just snuck clip into the room. I'll just leave that <laughs> there. Um, she leads you into this room that I did not reveal. Uh, there. <sighs> um, so as you walk in, you see a chandelier of uh, iron with wax candles uh, hanging above a polished like dining room table. Um... I might have lied again. Give me two seconds. <laughs> I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get water. Listen, I have not. I have only very lightly prepped this area. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go grab some water real quick. Please yeah. do. Give me two seconds. <laughs> Just like, I think this is what you're supposed to do. Oh no, I'm in the boss area. My bad. Does oh, it wait, really no. matter that much what room we're in? Yes. It does. What the fuck? Every room matters in the house. Every room matters because there's room? different hey, stuff in booby the- booby traps. There's Every... different- <laughs> It might be, you never know. We have to go through the poison trap before we get to the arrow trap. No, yeah, I was right. That, that's the right room. That's the right room. All good. You guys go- Stop Nothing is bad. Is but everyone else is gone. Everyone's gone. We got sent to a rubber room. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Uh, you guys are in. You guys uh, enter this room. Um, there's like a chandelier of iron on the ceiling, uh, with wax candles hanging above. Um, like a dining room table looking on um, and around the table uh, there's <laughs> what is going on um, you see uh, eight women at the table what the fuck <laughs> what did I just come back to Let's go. <laughs> um, they are wearing like faded clothes, uh, are drinking tea, and um, you see them like stitching clothes and uh, also uh, kind of weaving together uh, some twigs. And you see a ninth oh. woman um, kind of like walking around the table um they don't really look like tailors or seamstresses but they're kind of just like sewing together pieces of cloth um like quilts more like costumes they're more okay. like brightly colored and stuff um and this woman mm. uh the ninth woman is like very like unlike the other eight she's dressed in very fancy clothes um and she welcomes you as you guys are brought in with by the maid um it's like hello 
Um, I am assuming you guys are here to talk to my husband. Is your husband the Burgomaster? Yes, he is. Then yes. Husband. Um, he'll be here soon. Uh, there should be some extra couches if you want to sit down. Would you like some tea? Any we cake? We talk to you as well. I will not sit down. I will. These... <laughs> ahead, Matt. Huh? Matt, okay. Go ahead, Kai. He is not sitting down. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. Uh, I don't know what business you could have with me, but, um, how could I help you? Wait, I have a question. So, like, this is like a sewing room? Um, it's it more of like a out. dining room that, like, eight women are just, like, kind of, like, eating <clears throat> cake, drinking tea, and, like, sewing like they're eating? Yeah, they have, like, cake and tea. I'm gonna start eating, too. Okay, <laughs> you kind of join them at the table. <laughs> um... And one of the women, women kind of like look at you like, oh, are you here to help with the festival? Help, help. Oh, great. Okay, here. Uh, can you take these twigs and just continue like arranging and weaving them in a circular motion? Or not circular motion, circular like shape. Twigs? <laughs> I, just, I just make a fucking fire. <laughs> <laughs> um. She's kind of looking at you, Arya. Oh, my name is Lydia, by the way. Uh, I don't think we can make a wedding dress, but I do have one. Um, Maybe we borrow it. It was of great importance to us, for I am getting married. I see. Uh... Why would you need my wedding dress? Because we are the same dimensions. Uh, I see. Um, <coughs> is this what you needed to talk to my husband about? The Burgo Masker from Kretsk requires a wedding dress for a special occasion with a let's say, foreign ambassador. And we have been sent to request uh, to collect a wedding dress from Velaki. I see. I do have one. Um, <clears throat> uh, I can check if it's all right with my husband, and um, I would be able to give it to you. If you're going to see your husband, perhaps you should take this letter with you. No, he's going to be coming here. Okay, never mind. <laughs> um, and you guys wait a couple minutes. And give me two seconds. There's so much information here. She's really scrolling through this. <laughs> I just want to point out, whenever you introduce the room, and you're like, oh, there's eight women, they're like, stitching some, like, stitching clothes, I did not hear stitching, I heard ditching, and I was like, well, what's happening? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I was like, well, like, what did we just enter? Um... <laughs> 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 Perfect, just also yeah, I was like, shit, I don't have his room set up. Just put eight naked women in this room. <laughs> 18 naked oh, cowboys. Oh, God. The way it should be. No, not the cowboys. <laughs> Give me two seconds. <laughs> right, I did not prepare for the session. You know, at least it's eight naked women and not rats. They are not naked. They are naked clothed. Rats. Oh. Eight big naked rats. Eighteen Plus naked cowboys in the show is yeah, a ram ranch. Big nice. hard <laughs> <laughs> It's just one rat and four turtles. 
Yo, my boy Ratatouille looking real fresh <laughs> right now. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I think I'm right Wait, Ratatouille? You mean Ratatouille is double cheeked up right now, guys. Talking about Remy? Or are you talking about Emil? Yeah, Remy. Oh, I forgot. Wait, his name's. Oh. Is it Emil? Or... They gave him Remy for a reason. I'm being almost done. You or... have like a mouthful of this now. I know. It was Remy and then Linguini. Linguini. Mm. Oh, that's like the, <laughs> the voices of my demons. In 30 minutes, he's gonna be releasing all of that from both ed like, exits. <laughs> <laughs> it's done. Nice. Nice. Do another one. 111. 111. 57. It's a new what are you, what are you talking about? He World finished that can of whipped cream time. in an hour and 11 minutes and 57 seconds. Oh, nice. Now do it in a bowl. Empty with the bowl and some spoons. Exactly. I think it'd definitely be faster. Tiffany okay. says it otherwise. Uh, a couple minutes later, um, you see the maid coming back with the Baron um, kind of following her. And he enters the room. Hello. I don't believe that I've met you all. My name is Baron Vargas Valakovich. I am ST3V3. We are here for your wife's wedding dress. Why? For matters. Uh, I see. Uh, I, Kai's gone, whatever. But I'm assuming a natural hands on the letter, he reads it. Um, it's like, okay. I guess this is important. <laughs> Echo's just eating the cake. <laughs> Two more seconds. <laughs> there was something that I'm looking for, and I can't freaking find it. I'm really sorry. I did not prepare for this session. <laughs> no, you're good. I'll probably just keep it light. Okay. Oh. Imagine being hungry but not being able to taste the food. Are you saying that because you had COVID? Yeah, I can't. I had like pho and then I had like Mexican food at the same time and I couldn't taste anything. <laughs> oh. It wasn't but it, it was just food, like food is so very boring now. <laughs> that is really unfortunate. I just realized I was Hopefully gonna... it'll come back eventually. Mm -hmm. I have no idea. For most one. people it's like a couple of weeks max. Right? Okay. Does it ever come back fully? Or is it like... I think for some people it does, but... Um... She... Not it always. It just depends on how severe it, like, the infection was. My parents can taste more than me, so... I don't know. Hmm. On the right side, you can eat like a bunch of spicy food and have no reaction. No, like, I can- like, I can feel the spice. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 
I just won't be able to taste the flavor. Okay, like, I got fun. We can drink like a bunch I'll of just be in pain. <laughs> you can put like your nose up to like a giant bowl of vinegar and just smell it. It's gonna be like light work, no reaction. <laughs> Big facts. I'll probably taste it though. I don't know, there's some things I can kind of taste like acidic stuff. Yes, not ass. ass. Yeah, I'll not try that. Rocky's fucking up his Although I might right not over. be able to taste it. <laughs> I'll be right over. We can figure that out. Wait, so we eating ass right now? I wouldn't. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't be able to taste it. Oh, Rocky's fucking up his food right now. Fuck it up, Rocky. I thought you were going to say, like, Rocky is available if you want to try. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Premium cat meat, you know? <laughs> yeah, bro. Uh, Kogoyangi Kogi. Mashisa. This, exactly. Okay. <laughs> um, so, anyway, the Baron... <laughs> kind of looks at the rest of you guys. What do we get in return if we give you the wedding dress? Our appreciation. Hmm. And eternal gratitude. I was gone. Did he read the letter? Yeah, he did. Yeah. He was like, it's kind of important, I guess. Can I read the letter? Like, God damn. <laughs> <clears throat> Can we roll for persuasion? Sure. Let's go. Can we all just <clears throat> Oh, the Burgo Master has recently has recently come oh. across oh, I can't read. a large shipment of highly exclusive wine Persuasion? from Easy. I forgot what they're fucking called, whatever. A large mm -hmm. shipment of wine, many of which are highly limited and exclusive, is willing to share a large amount of this cargo with you. Here mm -hmm. is a sampler of sorts that he has sent with us for your tasting. And I'll give him a bottle of wine. The normal wine, not the poison wine. Oh. <laughs> he just dies. He dies. <laughs> <laughs> everyone just, just poisons everyone in the room. Dies okay. on the spot. <laughs> oh, I see. I am not in need of wine, but this is very kind of you. Um... We could help out with the festival. You see his face just, like, light up as soon as you say that. The wine helps with the festival. <laughs> <laughs> would you really? That would be wonderful. You must be special guests. The town would love you. Why? The next festival it's... happens in three days. Is it because I'm part metal banana? I do not know what a banana is, but you are a splendid creature. You don't know what a banana is? <laughs> it's not native to these lands. <laughs> um, so he turns to his wife, Lydia, please go get the wedding uh, dress. 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 Yeah, that. Um, so she's like, okay. And she like kind of walks off. Um, do you guys go with her, or do you guys just? No. Can I go with her? Yeah, you can go with her. I go with her as well. Okay. <laughs> um. Wait. Okay. Well, the burgomaster's still in the room, right? Yeah. I'm about I'm to just... pull an echo up in the car. You're gonna burn the house gonna down? gonna dig up no. his sunset body too? No, I'm gonna find if they have anything valuable so we can have. <laughs> what? Okay, um, you can see on the. if you scroll up a little bit. What if I just oh, fireball this room? Please don't. It would probably catch on fire. Please, Steve, are you following us? <clears throat> No. No. 
So there's like barrels, like in the hallway and stuff. Heh. <laughs> um. Yes. And they're full of like twigs. Um. <sighs> that. Big sad. You can kind of assume is as you look towards like the center of the table there's just like a large circular shape of just twigs um as you guys leave to go upstairs to follow um lydia uh the baron looks towards uh the rest of you um the next festival is the festival of the blazing sun blazing yes blazing sun as soon as we finish that uh well, we are creating a sun out of twigs. We will light it on fire. Fire. <laughs> yes, these festivals are essential to keeping the town happy and strawed out of this village. Fire. Yes, there will be lots of fire. Happy. Yes, all will be well. We must all stay very happy. What should happen? What would happen should we fail to complete the festival? It must not fail. These festivals are essential. That's not what I asked. <laughs> well, you don't need to complete the festival. You are here as special guests. What does that mean? Well, obviously, I'm not hearing this. Bermit's not hearing this, right? Because we're already upstairs. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. So you what would happen should you not light the sun? You know, I didn't think about that before. <laughs> so None we've been the doing festival. the festival for many years, then? We have different festivals every week. Every week? Yes. And each one is necessary to keep straw out? Yes, it is essential to keeping up the spirit of the town. How long have these festivals been performed? Years. Longer than you? Years? Uh, no, I started them. And since I have started them, Strahd has not attacked this village. Did he attack it before you? Probably, yes. Probably. <laughs> Why would he attack before before you, but not while you, during your rule? Because of these festivals. If everyone in town is truly happy, like they are with these festivals, then this town will be free of Strahd and his reign. This sounds like some Christianity shit right here. <laughs> <laughs> if we just pray to God hard enough, the devil will not infest our hearts. Do you, know, do you know anything of Saint Markovia? Saint Markovia. There's a church to Saint Andral. Hmm. In this town. Okay. Who is Saint um, Andral? Yeah. I kind of hope that's <laughs> out of character. No, it is out of character. <laughs> I know that Bermit can't hear this, but if the ritual deters Strahd, what if they just don't do it one month? Strahd's like, oh, my time to shine. He comes in and he gets like jumped by like every nation in this entire land. <laughs> Strahd wouldn't notice like entire armies moving across the forgotten. No, I think they'll really slowly. Um... It's like a Velociraptor or a T Rex. They go really slowly. Oh, he rolled well on his history check. That's pretty good. Um, I don't think St. Andral was a figure of uh, note. But St. Markovia uh, is, uh, or was rather, a priest of the Morning Lord who took a stand against Strahd. Uh... It was a very fierce uprising, but in the end, 
they were absolutely destroyed by Strahd, which is why these festivals must keep him out. Damn, sounds like a weak saint. She had the right idea, but her execution was wrong. I see. Does every festival feature the blazing sun? No. Uh, no. Last week, we had the festival of... I forgot what it's called. Give me a second. <laughs> it's here somewhere, I promise. Shit, you and Michael. Salsa? Cake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, cake sounds good right now. <laughs> oh, okay, I found it. Last week's it festival was the Wolf's Head Jamboree. You may have saw the, the wolf's heads outside of the... Um, the village if you were coming from Kresk. We did. It was quite spectacular. How many festivals do you have? Once per week. Many. We tend to have them once a week. How do you come up with the ideas for the festival, Virgo Master? I am a genius. So true. <laughs> Inside chat. <check. laughs> What does a nine tell me? Uh, a nine tells you that he truly believes that he is like all knowing. <laughs> you, you are the all knowing festival god of these lands. He's just like grinning from ear to ear. He is so happy. <laughs> Can I do a medicine check to see if he's retarded? <laughs> <laughs> Can I cast a text? thoughts on him <laughs> do you oh have that gosh. yeah oh my god what I the just fuck wanna... is this <laughs> i want to see like what his like wow. surface like what he's thinking like right now his surface level thoughts as you kind of peer into his i don't know mind is just like i have no idea who these people are but they are wonderful they must be guests next like in at the festival they will absolutely be welcome into town. These people are wonderful. Oh, yeah. All right. What are our master. duties in uh, helping with the festival, Virgo Master? Are we merely to attend? Yes. And bring be wine? walking alongside me to walk through the town, and once we reach the town square, light this blaze or er, light this wooden sun on fire. fire are twigs the only thing that will go up in flames Virgo master yes is this a wicker man situation are you trying to burn us to death no that's awful I didn't say that fire I would never do that to the special guests I was just questioning whether there was coal or any other type of fuel other than twigs. I apologize no. for my companion. No, we only. Do not apologize for me. There is nothing to be sorry about. No, we will just be setting ablaze these twigs. Is there a significance to the sun, Burrito Master? Yes, because. Well. Strahd cannot. It is believed that Strahd cannot walk in the sun, the light of the sun. And so, we must set ablaze a sun to celebrate it. Why don't you just cast, like, 
daylight or something. That feels like it would be so much easier. Cast daylight? It is a spell. Do you not know it? I see. No. Um, I do not know it either. That is unfortunate. We are not spellcasters here. Um, and as you guys are following Lydia, she like... Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I, I accidentally did she something. Like, oh. Don't worry. Kind of like an aneurysm. I missed like something. I'm sorry. Silence as you're like following her. She's like, oh. <laughs> Just drops to the floor. Oh. Oh. Um, no, so she takes you into, um, uh, a larger room. Um, it smells of powder and fine perfume. Um, you see a vanity with a mirror against one wall, um, next to a mannequin with a white bridal gown. Um, and on the other wall, there is a full-length mirror with, like, a really nice, uh, like, kind of golden frame. Damn, as, I should have followed them. As, <laughs> as we're helping her, like, get the dress off the mannequin, can I ask my crow to, like, sneak around to see if there's anything valuable we can steal? Have your raven make a stealth check? Twelve. <laughs> um, well, I'll roll perception for her. Six. Uh, yeah, she doesn't she doesn't see anything. She's just looking at the both of you. Thank you both for helping me with this, uh, the dress. It, uh, reminds me of happier times. Wait, is Birdman actually helping, or, like, is he just standing there? Birdman's just watching. Bermit <laughs> mostly came up here because he was seeing all the food being eaten and was like, maybe I shouldn't just like inhale all the food that they like need to eat to survive. Damn. Bermit out here Aww, restraining Bermit's himself. So nice. Okay, well, now that I know this, I'm going to like break through the floor and just eat all the food. <laughs> that seems to be the reaction. No. <laughs> I'm gonna return Kermit to his alignment, his proper alignment, so. Um. Yep, so you guys, uh, she, like, folds up the bridal gown and, like, hands it to you. Um, mm -hmm. Aria, please take care of this. I will. Thank you so much. Thank you. Shall we head? Yeah. And she kind of like gestures towards the door. I follow her, Bermit. You want to stay back to like snoop around with my crow? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you head down. Um... I guess while they left, Bermit, just a little bit of snooping. Son of a... Give me two seconds. It's okay, there we go. Investigation. Um, are you just looking in this room, or...? Just this room for now. Um, as you kind of look through the room, all you find is, like, perfume, and... Um... Excuse me. Excuse me. Bless you. You're excused. Um, and just like powder. Thank you. And not yeah, just is it white? No, I'm kidding. There you go. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Is it white? What kind huh? of powder? What kind of powder? Um <laughs> the kind of powder you use to like I don't know, powder like your face and stuff for like makeup. Baby powder? Not at all. powder. Okay. What you you were hoping it to be like coke or something? Yeah. Yes. Exactly. 
For real, it seems, seems like a methamphetamine type of world. <laughs> yeah, you don't find anything in this room, Vermit. Vermit so oh, what about the mirror? Nah. It's I cold. guess one of the stairs leads to. Do I um, re-roll? That is really narrow stairs. Do you want to go down ground. the stairs? I want to stealthily go down the stairs. Okay, roll stealth. Watch this. My best stat. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh oh. Uh, um, that almost 100 pound frog is max stealth. <laughs> you go down the stairs and you end up in this room. Um, yeah, you see padded that. chairs and couches uh, lining the walls of a, or this like kind of cozy looking uh, carpeted room. Uh, the room smells of pipe smoke, and on the east wall uh, there's a the head of like a brown bear. What are those called? Mm -hmm. You know where they like stuff <clears throat> dead animals. Yeah. Uh, and it just looks really angry. And you see kind of sleeping on the side next to the couch, uh, two giant mastiffs. Mastiff. I don't think Hermit's going to try to fight those. Um, What's a mastiff? Dog. Oh, uh, big dog. Uh, okay. Too yeah, many big I got, dudes. I'm outsized by two big dogs, so... <laughs> I'm gonna go back upstairs. Cause I'm gonna check out that like middle room along the way. Okay. My stomach hurts. Oh no. <laughs> I wonder why. Dog. Mm. Dog. So should, um, I should I roll one more time for this like middle room? Which room? Oh god. <laughs> I kind of rolled so many times. I guess I go to the back and try to open that very back door. Okay. This is so claustrophobic. <laughs> um. Uh, you try to, uh, open the door and it is locked is there a keyhole or something for me to there is a keyhole I'm or gonna... more like it's not like a keyhole like that you can look through and my crow uh, peck at it to open like use this beak as a pick lock bro what <laughs> um it can roll <laughs> roll a dexterity or yeah like roll a d20 for its dexterity with disadvantage. Oh. I just... <laughs> oh. Oh wait. Am I, supposed to... <clears throat> Am I supposed to hit dexterity on my Well that would be your stats. Just roll another D twenty. Okay. Saved. <laughs> another one. Yeah, with okay. disadvantage it rolled a nat one and you kind of hear like a Sound as like the um raven like looks back and there's like a little chip in it now in the beak <laughs> well, that's a good thing because lock picking kits they have like the little uh the oh my God. One. it's like all like <laughs> bent differently the notches the notches it just but... fucks up its own beak so like, <laughs> oh my god as a lock pick okay i guess i should ask how <laughs> what is the door made of just wood. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> if I want to just punch the door down. Honestly, I thought he was about to eat it. <laughs> That's what I was okay, thinking. Would. <laughs> it would make I... a lot of noise. But not if I can roll a good stealth check, right? No. Because you're like breaking a whole door. All right, I move on from this door. Okay. I'm not gonna alert the guards just yet. Welcome, Welcome back. back. Welcome back. 
I guess I'll try this second door. And he's like, can I roll to break the sound barrier? Stealthily? <laughs> no um... sound. Yeah, you can... Are you stealthily opening this door? I'm stealthily opening this door. Watch okay. this. Holy shit. Ooh. Okay. So you... Gee. Kind of creak... Or not creak open. You silently open the door and look inside. Uh, no one's in there, so you kind of enter. Um, you see a very, like, well-furnished room... Um, there's a canopied bed, um, a small bookshelf, and a full-length mirror uh, with a wooden frame on the wall across from the door. Um, and into the north wall is uh, an arched window of glass. This is a center bedroom. Yeah, pretty much. to be done here I feel like okay I'm gonna check out the other doors real quick before I make any hasty judgments okay I'm just gonna use those stealth rolls um... okay I don't know how to spell you spell uh, spell Oh. Uh, so you open this door, and you see floor-to-ceiling shelves uh, lining every wall of the room, um, and there's just so many books. God, this person's a nerd. <laughs> a Napago would like that. True. Nerd. Um, What's this middle middle thing here? Uh. There is a large desk in the center of the room with a brass oil lamp. Um, okay. And, you know, the chair sitting behind it is uh, padded. It's comfy looking. Um, and there's a symbol of a roaring bear stitched into the back cushion. Does the desk have any, like, drawers or compartments? Um... Not really. It's kind of just like a standard desk with like kind of papers and stuff like that on it. Um. Oh no, I lied. There's three drawers. That's a pretty big difference. I lied. I'm sorry. I'm gonna test to open the three drawers. They all open. Uh, there's no lock on them. Um, inside you just see like sheets of parchment um little jars of ink and like writing quills and that's like the first two drawers and the last drawer you see just like thick books god damn <laughs> fucking nerd why well, would you have books in a drawer here no way what kind of books are they you open it up and you see it's more of like a ledger oh. um more nerd shit. Yeah. Question. Mm -hmm. Can Bermit read? Can say I thought he was. Oh yeah, Bermit can't read. It's just scribbles. <laughs> That's true. Got him. Down. My scribbles. Got foil. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Then but you're just like a yeah, fucking nerd. I walk out since none of that room is edible nor readable okay. this is last room here <laughs> um you try the handle to the door and it is locked and there's nothing I can peek through or anything um not really no Yeah, this is the last thing that's up here. So, in theory, with all the commotion happening downstairs, they might not notice just 
worm it running straight through the door. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Right? Is my am I making a terrible I think because it, what, they're all downstairs talking about the dress mm-hmm. and eating. And so you can roll uh, a stealth Berman. check and then roll a strength check. Okay, stealth. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> no way. You slam into the door <laughs> and you kind of just bounce off of it. Hey, at least no one heard, right? <clears throat> at least no one heard. <laughs> Uh, that, that make any damage to the door? Nope. Alright, we're going again. Okay, you didn't have to reroll the stealth, but that's even better. Ooh! Okay, you, I you're like, okay, you know what? There's like three hinges on the one side of the door and then the other locked side only probably has like you know one little latch i can i can i got this i got this um (laughs) so you get a running start from like here and then you just like as soon as you get over here you like jump sideways into it and just you hear the (laughs) as the door just like slams open and you see a bedroom uh, but more than that as you look around almost in horror um, Shit. you see dolls okay, no. I knew something's off <laughs> you see a room full of pretty little dolls with powder white skin and auburn hair some of them dressed in really nice uh, dresses and others kind of just more simple clothes. Um, they fill a bookshelf. Um, some of the dolls are like in the bookshelf. Others are in neat rows on uh, wall-mounted shelves. Um, there's others more on a bed, like on the on the bed, like how Kayla has her plushies. Um, and the heaven, or not heaven, a uh, heavy heavy wooden chest. Um, and you see that other than their clothing, all of the dolls look the same. This dude's an incel. <laughs> I'm going to break open the chest lock. Um, well, you didn't have to, because the chest is unlocked. I'm breaking anyways. <laughs> um, there's a just pile of, like, wrinkled clothes. And as you kind of dig through that, you see a short sword. I want to take the short sword. I'm going to take the short sword. Sword? Okay. Sword. <laughs> you can <laughs> add short sword to your uh, thing. Hell yeah. And looking at the dolls that you had to move out of the way to open the chest uh, there's a small tag on every single doll um, stitched into the clothing that says is no fun, is no Blinsky yeah, you oh. don't know what that means nor can I read it you don't know that <laughs> well, I I have the short sword and everything else in this room is creepy and weird so I'm gonna go leave this room back to the first room that was locked. Okay. I'm already making a mess upstairs. I might as well. <laughs> do you wait, do you leave the door open or do you close it? I mean, I kind of broke the door off its hinges, right? No, 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 you didn't. You just kind of like broke the lock that like kept it open so it like Oh. I thought like I just ripped the door clean off. Yeah, no. I'm gonna, like, no. I'm going to move the door back just so it looks like it's nothing happened. Okay, it's closed. And then I might come over to the previously locked door and repeat my actions. Okay. Uh, you don't need to roll another stealth. Just strength? Just roll a strength. Oh. Um. You 
slam into the door, and uh, it does not open. These doors fucking made out of. You know what? I gotta get a better running start. <laughs> Okay, you can roll again. Oh, 16? Still doesn't open. What are these doors made of? <laughs> it's wood, but the lock is, like, really sturdy. I'm just imagining he, like, start hearing, breaks like... through the door. There's, like, a shape of him. Yeah. <laughs> but the lock is still there. <laughs> okay, I just, like, punch through the door and just get my way in through that. The lock's too strong. The door is the weakest part. <laughs> um. Okay, you punch your way through the door. Um. <laughs> and inside, uh, you see, chained to the back wall of an otherwise empty closet, is a really badly beaten man, uh, wearing nothing but a loincloth. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the plot thickens. <laughs> so this man's point of view is he's locked in a dark room and then vermin <laughs> breaks through the door. You just see like the silhouette of like the frog. <laughs> the as you look at him, you see like the iron shackles have like kind of cut into his wrist, causing blood to kind of just trickle down his hands. And as you Jesus look Christ. at him, and he looks up to see the silhouette of a very rotund frog. That's where we're gonna end the session for tonight. <laughs> it's just a fucking just slamming on the door, and then you're like, "What the fuck?" You try to like make it out of the figure. It's just like a two foot frog. <laughs> that is wild. I'm su I'm surprised that guy kept quiet. He didn't like scream or for help or anything. <laughs> he just like mm. must have been a win. Was I, was I too stealthy? He didn't notice I'm like breaking down the door. Um, you like as you were looking at him, you could see that he was just like, oh. um, like very like groggy, um, and kind of like waking up because he looked like he'd been like beat the shit out of. Yes. All right. We'll pick it back mm. up next time then, I guess. Yeah. Thank nice. you for the session. Thank you for the session. Yeah, thanks for the session. Yeah, thank you. Sorry it was so, like, <laughs> scatterbrained. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know where you guys were gonna go. It's like there's too many possibilities. Yeah. It was fun, though. That was fun. Thank you, guys. <laughs> I guess for the title, because you always ask about that. Yes. It could I will be end like the stream whip, now. whipped cream Goodbye, and wedding chat. dresses. Not by chat. Don't forget to subscribe for your free iPhone 3. Yeah. <laughs>